In this video, I'll be walking you throughout the proof of coverage version 11 and how you can update your Helium app and why is it important that you do that. Also, why am, am I so bullish about the Helium network for this year and why I think it might rank up to the 10th spot in the crypto space. My name is Eddie and this is not a financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. So this is proof of coverage version 11 explained and call to action by Abhay Komar. So uh, the action items, first of all, this will be launched supposedly on the October 4th. So the steps are step one, ensure your hotspot is asserted in the correct location. So if you have moved your location in the app, it would be affected. If you have asserted your hotspot to a nearby hex so that you could avoid reward scale penalties, or want to be uh, to appear to be further away from a neighbor, POC version 11 may affect you. As a reminder, location updates cost approximately $10. Avoid reward scale penalties or want to appear to be further away from a neighbor, POC may affect you. So that's the first part. Then you have as a location, location update costs approximately $10. This amount is not collected by any chance. Step two, assert your antenna gain. So you need to put your antenna whether you have a custom antenna or you have uh, your rack or whatever, a custom um, stock antenna. It is important to assert your antenna gain a value between 1 and 15. One of the key parts of the POC version 11 update is that your transmission power might be scaled down to fit local, regional, or national regulations. Most manufacturers have already provided their standard antenna gains in the hotspot app but you can also select custom antenna to manually enter value to take into account the third-party antenna, cable loss, or connectors. We highly recommend using a non-antenna value unless you have extensive experience with antennas. Both of these will cost 55 cents. Step three, encourage fellow hotspot owners to update location and antenna gains. So you need to put your exact location and then put the antenna gain and put the height. So it's... I'm going to show you right here. So if you open your app, you're going to click on update hotspot. It will open this slide and then you click on the update antenna. You can click on here, select antenna, and then you put. If, if they have already uh, updated yours, you're going to find it in the app, right? You can see what type of antenna. If they haven't or you have a custom antenna of your own, that's what you need to do. You need to put it here. And then it's good that you put the height as well, if possible. Then you click on update antenna. This will cost you 55 cents. Once you click on the TXRX gain, this will open. And then you can choose the custom antenna or if you have your Cloud P or Codex or whatever it is, then you can choose it from here as well. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, they're saying that uh, updating your antenna and your location, this will help um help the spoofing help you get more rewards uh supposedly now if it doesn't work out it is not the end they already said this is a test and they have been testing it so but on a bigger scale they don't know what the, the, how things will work so if it doesn't work out they might go back and downgrade to version 10 or they go to 12 or something so that's not the end so now I'm going to share with you some of the findings regarding the Freedom Phi. Um, we already know that Helium is ranked in 60th place. So what does that mean? That means the market share of Helium in the crypto space is 1.7 billion or 1.63 billion out of 2 trillion or whatever the market cap today is. So that is quite small for Helium. So I'm going to show you what if Helium becomes on the top 10. What is the market value? And this is possible because Freedom Phi is moving faster than I expected. And this can change the game a little bit. And therefore, I think investors will come in to Helium, not the crypto. They don't care about the crypto space, but they're interested in this project. And Freedom Phi can bring that attraction. So let me just show you what I found. So it's happening. Geek Sky, an MVNO that aggregates 
telecom networks around the world is the first company that plans to sell consumer and enterprise access to the 5G network. Okay, strap yourself in because this story has it all. 5G unlicensed spectrum, IoT, private network, eSIM, cryptocurrency, blockchain, and a really disruptive approach to telecom services. But most importantly, it has a mechanism to reward re regular people for building their own 5G hotspot. But here's the new thing. Helium is starting to become a legitimate player in the telecom industry. In the past week, both Synet and Gigsky announced they will add Helium's network to their own lineup of offerings. This means Helium network is big enough and real enough to warrant interest from companies that either run their own networks like Synet or aggregate services from those that do like Gigsky. And here, from Laura to 5G, based on pre-orders and overall demand, Vendor Freedom Fi is predicting the Helium 5G network could span fully 40,000 small cells by the end of 2022. And I think uh, I've read somewhere that they're, they're, they're going to deploy 20,000 by the end of this year. So 20,000 in 2022, I think this is probably old news. Uh, but why is this important? Because that would make it bigger than Verizon's small cell network, which is expected to reach 30,000 by the end of this year. So let's assume it attracts. And I don't see why it wouldn't attract. So my take here, it's ranked number 60. And we can see here it's 1.65 billion uh, market cap, right? So can it, if it attracts so many investors, and we've seen in my other video, I saw like uh, Mark Cuban is following Alameda and, and its partners uh, and the team that they joined the investment pool. That was big and they will bring the exposure. So I have this nice, cool website called Market Cap Off. So, um, so if HNT goes to 10th place, which is Avalanche, where Avalanche is sitting, 142 is very possible because Freedom Fight with Gag Sky and Sinet, all of these are good news. So if it goes to 10th place, that's the price of helium. Now, this is excluding what's going to do with the HEP20. This is just from investment. So what if it takes 9th place? which I seriously think it's doable as well. If it goes nine place, you're gonna see 281. Uh, this is the price I predicted for 2022. And that's, my prediction was no investment came, nothing happened, but it's all about the hip. We are not gonna, we're gonna allow more burning and therefore less circulation in the exchanges, which would obviously help the price increase. Now, this is from an investment perspective. What if the investment came in and I see it coming because there's no, way, there's no need for us to burn so many HNTs if the price is surging because of investment, if that makes any sense. So the 281, when is it? That's if, if Freedom Fight keeps on pushing things and Synet started to utilize this project, which everything seems on track because freedom fire they're out people are deploying it on the network so and they're saying they're going to have 20,000 by the end of this year which is amazing therefore ladies and gentlemen i think it's a good opportunity now that we have a dip in the market and there is probably a bigger dip coming this week especially when the sec is hinting left and right that they want to regulate so hnt as of today it's still very volatile and is still coupled with Bitcoin. So therefore, it might go to done. Whatever happens, this is unknowns. But if it dips, I think it's a good opportunity to buy more. I personally have a market, you know, a cap of anything under $13. I'll be buying more and more. And it is very obvious. I've, I've talked about this in many videos, but if you haven't, I think Helium will be decoupling from crypto. So and it doesn't have DeFi, and therefore it is an, a good investment in terms of you know government regulation in terms of it's needed by governments it needs it's needed by google it's needed by everybody so there is a huge demand for this project and therefore i'd rather invest in helium rather than 
you know, anything like Uniswap. I will never invest there because governments will not leave them alone. And therefore, I think helium is a good place. I'm not, I'm not being biased here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make my um, best call. But these are the areas that I like to play with. I need something safe. I need something it can scale up. I, th I, th I need something that I, I, it's not going to get hurt by governments. You know, all these stuff add up. Like there's, there's a piece of kind of security in there. Now, helium will decouple, I think, by 2023 or start to decouple from 2022. Then till 2023 or 24, um, it will have complete decouple. I, th I would assume it's by the end of 2022 or beginning of 2023. I think it would be 80% uh, decouple. So, and that's what I love about this network. It's it's solid. I know there are so many there are so many problems that we have, and I've seen some questions in the live. People were asking, well, the five G, the the the, mathem the mathematics of the five G doesn't make sense. It's too expensive. Well, we're here to test if it's gonna work out first. Then those small details, just like think about Uber. When Uber started, it was a big mess. They the, the Drivers would have accident. Nobody, nobody knew who would cover the insurance and whatever. So those are details. What we need is build the network. Once we have that network, then all these details will be fixed in the future, because it's still needed by telecommunications, still needed by IOTs. So even with the hacking, all that stuff, we can manage to uh, to go through it. So I'm I'm not worried about it. I'm I'm worried about the big picture. Is it going and is it on the right track? And obviously things are looking good, and I'm very optimistic, and that's why I'm be in, I'll be investing more and more in HNT. And like I said, Freedom Fi is 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 moving way faster than I expected, and that makes me more bullish about the whole thing. Therefore, this is not a financial advice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give a like and a comment, and tell me what's your price predictions. All right, we'll see you then.